Welcome to another episode of Dan 5 Minute Factoids. In this episode, we discuss monoplace hyperbaric chambers. Welcome to another Dan program. Today we're going to show you a monoplace, a single person hyperbaric chamber. And we're just going to show you what it looks like and maybe even feels like to be in a monoplace hyperbaric chamber. We hope none of you will ever need this, but in the case of decompression illness, most chambers in the world are in fact monoplace chambers. So chances are that this is what you might get to see. Okay, so the gurney, we're moving towards the chamber now and we make sure that the chamber connects so that the gurney is able to slide effortlessly into the chamber. And then We disconnect the gurney. And we close the door. The door is secure. Alright, so if you look here, this is the set pressure of the chamber and the dots indicate atmospheres. So 14.7 pounds per square inch translates to two atmospheres absolute. And if you take it further, close to 30 pounds per square inch, that would be three atmospheres. So most divers would be treated around here, which is the equivalent of 18 meters seawater or 60 feet of seawater. And they'd spend about 75 minutes there. And then you're able to set it again and you move it down to the equivalent of 30 feet or 9 meters seawater and they spend the remainder of the treatment there. It's a very simple chamber to use and of course uh, only the patient is inside so the operator does not need to consider their uh, risk of decompression illness. Now one of the advantages of these uh, chambers is that you can actually communicate to the patient inside. Can you hear me? Wait, there we go. Now of course the OK sign, up sign, down sign, you know, that we, we're not doing recreational diving here. It doesn't matter so much, but most divers would respond with the OK sign and of course you can talk to them and just tell them, how are you doing? All right, move your limb. Is it feeling better? Is it feeling worse? How are you doing? and uh, you're able to allow fluids into the chamber. You can run an IV and some of these chambers can actually run a uh, ventilator. So you can actually ventilate a patient while in these chambers. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Excellent. To remove the uh, patient from the chamber is actually equally easy. You just get the gurney back. Well, I hope that uh, was an interesting introduction to monoplace hyperbaric chambers. In the background here, you can see what we call a multiplace hyperbaric chamber. And at a later stage, we'll be showing you what a multiplace hyperbaric chamber looks like on the inside and how it differs from a monoplace. <laughs>